hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial uh, in today's video we are going to discuss the process of determination of the decimal value of a given signed binary number which is represented in 2s complement system now in the previous video we discussed the same for the 1s complement system okay a signed binary number is uh, represented it was represented in 1s complement system and we had to determine its decimal value in this video we are going to discuss the same for 2s complement system okay so let us uh, start suppose we have been given a signed binary number let's say 1101 in 4 bit format it is a signed binary number which is represented in 2s complement system it is represented in 2s complement system and we have to determine its equivalent decimal value how we have to proceed okay so here this process is also similar to the 1s complement system with a few minor changes okay the process is almost the same so if you have not watched the 1s complement video please check out that video first so that you understand this in a better way okay so we have to determine its equivalent decimal value of this signed binary number now by looking at this extreme left bit the msb bit which is 1 we can say that it is a negative integer okay when the sign bit it is the extreme msb bit in a sign binary number is the sign bit if it is 1 it means that the integer the given integer is or the number is negative and if it is 0 it means it's a positive integer so here it is 1 so it means it's a negative integer now we have to write the individual bits first 1 1 0 one. then we'll uh, attach the weight values associated with them this 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 now we'll write the expression 1 into 2 to the power 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 It is zero, so it is zero plus one into two to the power zero. Now, another important step which we also did the same in the one s complement system is that this sign bit, one bit, which has the weight value of two to the power three, the MSB bit, we have to include a negative sign in that position, the MSB bit position. We have to include a negative sign. we also did the same in one s complement system we'll include a negative sign so the expression now will become minus 8 1 into 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 3 is 8 with this negative sign this minus 8 plus 4 okay 2 to the power 2 is 4 plus 0 plus 2 to the power 0 is 1 so the result is minus 8 plus 4 plus 1 which is equal to Minus three, minus eight plus five, which is minus three. Now this is the final result. It is the decimal value of the given signed binary number, which is minus three. So this number one one zero one, the signed binary number, which is represented in two s complement system, its decimal value is minus three. this binary number signed binary number in 2s complement system has decimal value of minus 3 that we had to calculate now an important difference between the 1s complement proce uh, procedure and the 2s complement uh, conversion process is that in 1s complement we had to add a plus 1 to this result okay we had another we had to add a plus 1 here but here we directly get the result in 2s complement there is no need to add a plus 1 to
to this result there is no need to add a 1 to this sum of weights expression with the negative sign included but in one is complement we had to add a plus 1 here that's the only difference here we directly get the decimal value from the sum of weight expression only we have to include a negative sign to the msb bit weight position okay now let us take another example now here we have another signed binary number which is represented in 2s complement system okay it is represented in 2s complement system and we have to find out its equivalent decimal value okay so we'll follow the same step by step procedure first we have to determine whether the given number is negative or positive now from this uh, sign bit the msb bit it is 1 so we can say that it is a negative integer next we have to write out this uh, individual bits okay okay then we will attach the weight values associated with them 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 4 5 2 to the power 6 sorry there is another 1 here it's 2 to the power 7 so next is we will write the sum of weight expression this 1 into 2 to the power 7 plus 1 into 2 to the power 6 plus 1 into 2 to the power 5 plus 1 into 2 to the power 4 we will uh, not write the zeros because there will be 0 so finally we will write directly 1 into 2 to the power 0 these are all zeros, so the result will be zero so we have not included that now another important step here the msb bit okay the sign bit it has a weight value of 2 to the power 7 and in that position we have to include a negative sign this is very important this step is very important to include a negative sign in the msb bit position okay now we will evaluate this expression it will be minus 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 1 okay so the result will be 64 plus 32 96 96 plus 16 112 113 minus 128 plus 113 which is equal to minus 15 this is the given decimal number directly we got the result okay so this given sign binary number okay one 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 zero 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 one okay this sign binary number which is represented in 2s complement system okay which is represented in 2s complement system its decimal value is minus 15 okay so this process is almost same as that we performed in the 1s complement system okay but there only the only difference was that in the sum of weight expression after including a minus sign the result that we got we had to add another one to it but here directly we get the result there is no need to add one okay so always remember while uh, determining or uh, while approaching this kind of question the first thing that you have to take care of is first you look at the sign bit okay the msb bit if it is one it means it is a negative integer be it a one s complement two s complement or sign magnitude if the sign bit is one it means it is a negative integer next thing what you have to do is that you have to see what has been given in the question in which 
system the sign binary number is represented whether it is repre uh, represented in sign magnitude system whether it is represented in 1s complement system or 2s complement system now depending on the system in which the sign number is represented your approach will differ okay so in 1s and 2s complement system the next step that you have to do is you write the individual bits you attach the weight values associated with them then the extreme left hand bit the msb bit you include a negative sign with that weight value then you evaluate the sum of weight expression now here there is the difference between 1s and 2s complement in 1s complement the result that you get you have to add an another one to it to get the result but in 2s complement there is no need to add 1 to this result the sum of weight expression will directly get the result okay so these are the key steps that are involved in determination of the decimal value of a sign binary number which is represented in uh, the 2s complement system okay so i hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much